I recently moved to Manchester and a good friend of mine came up to visit me. Um, we decided we were going to go out in town, went to a few bars and a few clubs and then when we left the final club we got separated. I didn't have my phone on me so I couldn't contact him either. I met a group of people and they asked me to go for a nightcap with them. Uh, I went back to what I later found out was a hotel room with them. Um, I had a few drinks and then everyone else bar two had left. Those two then decided to take it upon themselves to rape me. While it was going on, I just tried to block out what was happening. You can either fight, flight or flop, and in that situation I flopped. Which to some people means you lay down and let it happen, but if you've been through a situation it means that it's just the way your body's reacting, it's a natural reaction, and you're just trying to block out what's actually happened to you at the time. I was still with it to a certain extent, I can still remember, I remember a lot more like the conversations and things that we had, until I had the final drink just with those two, and then my memory goes really hazy, and then to me that leads to believe that I was spiked. First thing I remember is the arches on Dale Street car park. I then walked back to my flat. Um, as I walked back, I was still in shock. It wasn't until I came to the bridge, which is close to where I lived, um, that then it kind of all hit me. And then I decided that, you know, I, well, I started to think I didn't want to live with this. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, if it wasn't for the thought of what would my family, friends, the devastation we had for them, I, w I would have jumped off that bridge. But I continued walking back, and then I met my girlfriend at the time and my best friend in the flat. And then this moment I walked through the door, I burst into tears. Like they didn't know what to do. The only thing that they could think of was that I needed to go and report to the police straight away, whereas all I wanted to do was go and have a shower and get the smell of these people off me. When I reported to the police, um, the initial response wasn't the greatest, I'm not going to lie. Um, I felt that I wasn't believed. In that situation, I guess, that they, let, they do pass judgment where they probably shouldn't. And without dealing with males as often as they are dealing with females, maybe they haven't got the same level of compassion as they would. Uh, I found out about Survivors Manchester from the officer that took me to St Mary's and it was, it was perfect in every way when it came to providing support I needed. The clinical therapy is one-on-one, -on -one. so you would go there and sit with the therapist and talk at your own pace, but you can talk about your feelings, how it made you feel, what, how afterwards, how you've tried to deal with it, and also they can give you things like grounding techniques, mindfulness, which means then that you can go about your normal life and by not talking about it and trying to bottle it in, which I think is what a lot of men do in this situation, I really hadn't helped myself. Within a month or two of talking to a therapist and talking, being more open with my friends and family, I started to feel better. And I felt that so many other men will be in this situation that maybe if I was to go out and talk about it on a national level, then it would help other men that were struggling to approach their friends and family or approach a therapist to talk about it as well. It meant I could turn the big negative into a positive. Initially, I was nervous about turning back to the scene, but that first gig, with it being so, it was close to home, like it was close to home, it was a venue that I knew. It made it a lot easier for me to do that and DJ is something that I've always loved. It's always been a big passion of mine and you can get yourself lost in the moment and you just play your music, you're concentrating on what you're doing, you don't concentrate on the nightlife and the scene around you. By doing this mix then I hope that I can um, raise money for Survivors Manchester and I also hope that I can help other people to come forward. But I'd also want to raise awareness of male rape in general. Before this happened to me, I never thought of it happening to males. That's the same thoughts that my friends and my family had had as well. In the world we live in, unfortunately, we all need to keep ourselves safe. And that doesn't mean that we can't go out and get drunk and we can't go out and have a good time. But it just means you, know, you need to keep your friends close, you need to make sure you've got contact, make sure you've got a way home, and at the end of the day, don't go back to strangers.